coming into this one. But it's the teenagers that are actually looking pretty darn good with Luke Baldwin right there in the championship picture as well. And Ryan Newman, last week's winner at Tri-County Speedway, creeping back up into the championship equation. He is now third in the point standings. Drivers have assembled their cars, some of the best looking cars in American motorsports on the front stretch here at Orange County Speedway. Let's meet the stars of the starting lineup here today for the Smart Modify Tour powered by Pacematic. Starting shotgun on the field. This driver in the number 51 out of Sugarloaf, Pennsylvania. A great winner at Evergreen Speedway in Pennsylvania. It's the 51 of Jaden Harmon. Starting to his inside, it's been a tumultuous year for this veteran and successful race car driver. In the number 15 for Shady Grady Racing, a nine-time winner in the Smart Modified Tour at a Lexington, North Carolina, it's Brian Lofton. In the next row, the number 21 car with Carolina Drilling on the side. A top 10 finish just a couple of weeks ago at South Boston Speedway, it's Jimmy Wallace. Starting 17th here tonight. This guy knows a thing or two about Orange County Speedway. A former winner at this racetrack. Driver of the number 45 machine for Gary Young Jr. Starting 16th here tonight. Another former winner. But this one in tour type modified competition just about a decade ago. In the number 77 with curb records on the side of this race car. Formerly from Connecticut, it's Gary Putnam. Starting 15th to the inside of Gary Putnam will be the number 48. He is out of Deerfield Beach, Florida. And a veteran of the Modified Wars now here in the South. It's Johnny Keeveman, Johnny K. Starting 14th here today. This guy is one tough customer. Broke his collarbone a couple of weeks ago at South Boston Speedway. He's in the Yates grading and paving number 18 machine for Daniel Yates. Starting to his inside in the famous hillbilly racing ride here in the south. A multicolored machine. This kid out of Newtown, Connecticut, a two-time SK modified winner at Stafford Motor Speedway. It's Anthony Bello. Now, one of the most popular drivers in the starting lineup here tonight out of Walnut Cove, North Carolina. He's the driver of the QRC HVAC and refrigeration number four for the working man, Jason Myers. <laughs> Truly is a working man and a 40-time winner at Bowman Gray Stadium. Starting 11th, just outside the top 10 in the Mark III Financial. Units moving in stores, number 25 machine for Mike Smith. Third place last week at Tri-County Speedway, it's Tommy Buzzy. And now let's meet your top 10 starters in tonight's Rumble at Rougemont. 99 laps for the Smart Modified Tour, powered by Pacematic. The driver starting 10th here tonight, a winner of the Cardinal 99, one week ago at Tri-County Speedway. In the shitty coolers, aggressive hydraulics number two out of South Bend, Indiana, it's Ryan Newman. Starting ninth here tonight, NASCAR modified champion at Bowman Gray Stadium one season ago. He is in the Kevin Says Yes dot com number zero four out of Winston Salem, North Carolina. Former winner here two times over at Orange County Speedway. It's Brandon Ward. Starting eighth, this driver comes to us out of Howell, New Jersey. He's got one hundred and fifty eight career wins in his career. And SK modifies and modifies alike. This driver, one of the toughest guys in the business. Let's put your hands together for showtime. Jimmy blew it. Starting seventh. This is an all New Jersey 
row right here. And then number 27 for Justin Gumley. This is a third generation modified racer in that 27 out of Jackson, New Jersey for Blake Barney. Starting six in his best qualifying effort of this season. He's a two-time winner at Smart Modified Tour Competition out of Miami Springs, Florida. A former winner on the NASCAR Truck Series, it's Joey Coulter. And here we go, fans. We want to hear cheers right here because we know he's one of the most popular race car drivers in all of Southern Modified Racing with Peanut Patch, Backyard Leisure Pools and Spas, as well as Citrus Safe on the side of his race car. He's the defending champion of the Smart Modified Tour. It's the ace, Burt Myers. It's an all s and &S racing row number two. On the outside, this guy from Oxford, North Carolina, has won races here at Orange County Speedway. He's got pace matic on the side of his number 16 modified, and he'll line up fourth for tonight's 99-lap race here. It's Jay Cash, Jonathan Cash. To his inside in a hat that... I just don't know if it fits him or not. But he's 17 years old, and he's already been crowned a king as the winner of the King of the Modifieds at South Boston Speedway just a couple of years ago. Third generation modified racer, Luke Baldwin. And now here are the smart stars on the front row. On the outside, in the AmeriFast number 24 for Buddy Ellis, a 16-time NASCAR modified winner at Bowman Gray Stadium. This guy, a third-generation race car driver out of New Jersey as well. It's Danny Bone. And the current point leader for the Smart Modified Tour, powered by Pacematic. On the point for tonight's race for 99 laps. He's just 16 years old. Put your hands together for the kid, Carson Lofton. And that is the starting lineup for tonight's race for 99 laps with the Rumble at Rougemont. This race, the second of the Smart Modified Tour in the history here. But we do have a race back in 1988 that we're still looking into. Rick Fuller won that race. Bobby Labonte, the victor here last year in Rougemont, North Carolina. Who is going to get that Banker's Life Smarty Trophy manufactured by Jostens at the end of 99 laps here tonight? That's the question. Folks, we're going to salute these drivers. They're going to salute you here in just a little while. These are some of the most daring race car drivers in America. These modifieds with 600 horsepower, 15 inch tires low to the ground. These things are rocket ships with wheels. And tonight you'll see some of the best in the business work the wheels of these machines around the high banks of Orange County Speedway. We want to say thank you to all of our smart sponsors, including Pacematic, Citrus Safe, Banker's Life, and also Carolina Drilling, who does so much for the Southern modified racing community. Jostens, the manufacturer of our Smarty Trophy as well. I think we're getting the call, getting ready to start engines here today, just awaiting the word up here in the booth. Drivers still buckling in behind the wheel of their race cars. We are waiting. We are good to go. All right, Ryan Hendricks. The command to fire engines here today. Give it to us for the rumble. Oh, we're going to wait just one second. Last minute. We're almost going to do that. But we're waiting for all the drivers to have all their safety checks, all the officials checking the drivers down here. And now you see the belt being held by Jeff Button, a former wrestler himself. Didn't make it as a wrestler, so now he's our flag man with the Smart Modified Tour, powered by pace -Matic. And now he's walking down with the belt that will be awarded to the winner of the Rumble at Rougemont. Who is going to put that belt on their waist, over their shoulder, wherever they want it here? A very special trophy indeed today here at Orange County Speedway. Carson Lofton, that kid just so talented. 
second generation, third generation actually, race car driver. But his dad, Brian Lofton, taught him well. He ran a crate race here a couple of years ago. Last year's Racing Electronics Rookie of the Year on the Smart Modified Tour, powered by Pacematic. And now, leading the points for the Smart Modifieds, entering race number five on the season. I want to remind everybody, next week we'll be in Hickory, North Carolina, the birthplace of NASCAR stars for another race for the Smart Modified Tour, powered by Pacematic. Looking forward to that racetrack. Worn out. You can wear some tires down there. It's going to be a lot of fun to see these Smart Modifieds once again at Hickory Motor Speedway. That's next Saturday night. Make sure you get out there if you can or watch it live on Flow Racing. Chris Honeycutt, one of our smart modified tour officials, getting the word down there about all the drivers and whether they're ready to do battle here tonight. Jeff Bunton will be up on the flag stand. Thank you so much to all the smart officials as well for all the hard work within the first five races of the season. We have 15 total races for the Smart Modified Tour powered by Pacematic. And what a beautiful day today was here in Rougemont, North Carolina. Now it's time for the most famous words of racing prior to the rumble at Rougemont at Orange County Speedway. Gentlemen, start your engines. That'll add a little rumble to the rumble at Rougemont at Orange County Speedway. The Modifieds come alive. 600 horsepower underneath the hood. These things are going to be spectacular. And as the sun sets, this will actually be the first nighttime race of the season right here in 2024 for the Smart Modified Tour powered by Pacematic. I take a look at that second row with the SNS Racing Modifieds. Luke Baldwin, already a winner this year in the 7VA. And to his outside, a guy with a lot of laps at Orange County Speedway, Jonathan Cash for Sadler Stanley Racing. Got to say thank you to Bill Stanley as well as Hermie Sadler for all they do, not only for their own team, for the Smart Modified Tour as well. As we mentioned, Bobby Labonte won this race one year ago. The driver that finished second in the race is actually starting in the fifth row on the outside, the number two car of Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman, the most recent winner of the Smart Modified Tour. Newman, a winner of the Daytona 500, the Brickyard 400, last year's SRX champion, and now going after a championship with Coulter Motorsports and Randy Renfro as the driver of that potent number two ride. He'll have to get it done today from the 10th starting spot. Great shot here from the Carolina Drilling Citrus Safe Grill Cleaners drone. We'll have that all race long and just a great perspective of these modifieds as they enter turn number three and climb the banking here at Orange County Speedway. Banking 19 degrees in the corners. 15 degrees on the straightaways. A lot of racetracks in America don't have 15 degree banking on the corners, let alone the straightaways like Orange County Speedway does. My hero growing up, Charlie Jerzombek, he won here with the NASCAR Wheel of Modified Tour back in the mid 80s. It was his final victory uh, before his untimely death, but charging Charlie J, very proud in that Ernie Wilsberg number five back in the day of winning here at Orange County Speedway. We're going to double them up this time by. And then next time, next time will be the salute to you, the greatest fans in America. We love coming to Orange County Speedway with the Smart Modify Tour. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we want you to stand up here today at Orange County Speedway. Look at these beautiful modifies of the Smart Modify Tour. So folks, as they come off of turn number four, this is our salute to you. These are the mighty Modifieds that live by the grace of God in 600 horsepower. They are the ground pounders. This is the Smart Modified Tour. Coming around this time by Jeff Button. We'll give them the one to go signal. We are live on Flow Racing today with the Smart Modify Tour. All the races from Smart live on Flow Racing all season long. JB says, next time by we will go green flag racing with the Rumble at Rougemont. Lights off on the pace car here at Orange County Speedway. I'm Bob Dillner, proud to be with you at Orange County Speedway and live on Flow Racing with the Smart Modify Tour powered by Pacematic. I grew up with Modifieds and this place has a lot of Modified history. We're going to see more history made today. Carson Lofton in the 23, the 16 year old kid on the front row with the veteran Danny Bone alongside. By the grace of God and 600 horsepower, it's the Rumble at Rougemont at Orange County. Danny Bone makes that outside group work. He rockets to the lead here on the opening lap. Carson Lofton in second. Look at Burt Myers way down the bottom here in a battle for four. One, two, three, single file, best battle from fourth on back. Burt Myers way down the bottom, almost three wide down in the corner. Blake Barney trying to go in the middle of Burt Myers and Joey Coulter. Now the top four, single file. Battle is for fifth. Myers on the bottom, Joey Coulter on the top side. Coulter in that zero two gets a run off the corner. He goes up to fifth. Burt Myers back to six, but he's under fire by Blake Barney. They almost make contact off a of turn number two. Jimmy Blewett in the 99 is there as well. Barney may be in trouble. This racetrack is abrasive. And Barney on the bottom side, not able to step on that accelerator, but maybe kind of just burning those tires up just a little bit. But he's got the momentum trying to poke his nose out in front of Burt Myers. Look at Blake Barney making it work on the bottom. Now to the inside of Joey Coulter. He's going to be able to slide up in front of him. Blake Barney to fifth. Great battle here. That is now settled down. Up top, though. Danny Bone sets the pace in this one with Carson Lofton in second. Lofton, the point leader. Said last year just couldn't get a hold of this racetrack. Said it was a little bit of me, a little bit of the car. We just could, them, could not get them in sync. He looks like he's in sync here today. And the best run of the season by Jonathan Cash in that Pacematic number 16. He is in third. Luke Baldwin, his Pacematic teammate at SNS Racing, is in fourth. And Blake Barney in fifth. This time by, it'll be 10 laps complete for Danny Bone at the front of this field. Remember, Bell Helmet stage number one concludes at lap 30. A caution will be thrown. The top three in the race will be awarded a little extra cash as well as some championship equation points that go towards how things shake out at the end of the season. Let's take a look at fourth on back here. A group of cars now single file, but at the same time, Blake Barney starting to slide high, and that's starting to allow Luke Baldwin to kind of try to gobble up. Barney has moved into fourth with Baldwin in fifth, and there is Coulter back in that sixth spot. Up front, though, these top three looking good as well. Great camera work here by our Flow Racing cameras. There is the 24 of Danny Bone. 
Trust me, we're keeping an eye on everybody. And almost a little love tap to the back bumper of Danny Bone by Carson Lofton. Lofton starting to pitch his car to the inside a little bit to see if he can get that run on the inside up off the corner. There he goes again. Let's see what he does here off of turn number four. Now 15 laps complete in the rumble at Rougemont. You heard a couple of drivers say, man, I wish this one could go green the whole way. Well, it could here with the exception of the Bell Helmet stage number one. Checkered, that will happen. It'll be a caution period in this one. But that'll come in now 14 laps. Everybody trying to figure out their race cars. Is Danny Bone, Carson Lofton, Jonathan Cash, Blake Barney, and Luke Baldwin your top five? A little bit further back from that, Joey Coulter in sixth, Jimmy Blewett in seventh, eighth is Burt Myers, ninth is Ryan Newman, and tenth is Brandon Ward. Jimmy Blewett able to work his way by Burt Myers. So Myers has slipped a little bit here after winning the Pacematic Pole Award for the second straight week with that peanut patch, backyard leisure pool, and spa citrus safe number one. Blake Barney is in fourth, but Luke Baldwin has not left him either. There is Barney in the black and white number 27. Cannot believe, actually, that Barney is already in his 20s. Uh, been watching him and his family for such a long time. Barney, that name, very synonymous with modified racing. You remember that red and white number 14 modified for so many years, driven by Tony Siscone. Man, Tony Siscone, Gil Hearn, John Blewett, uh, you know, the best there for so many years at Wall Stadium in Belmar, New Jersey. And now Blake Barney trying to continue that. Here is Burt Myers and Jimmy Blewett going back at it. Burt Myers has been able to move back by Jimmy Blewett in the 99. And that's an interesting story as well because both Jimmy Blewett and his car owner, Jamie Tomano, come from the same hometown. But they battled for years, the Blewett family, as well as the Tomanos at tracks up in the Northeast. And now they're together with the Smart Modified Tour powered by Pacematic blew it last week at Tri-County. A runner-up finish almost got the job done. Trouble for Burt Myers. Burt Myers slid up the track that allows Jimmy Blewett to go by. Maybe a problem with this Burt Myers machine. We'll take a look at this. He just slid way up the racetrack and almost went right up to the wall. Right now trying to conserve that race car. Newman on his back bumper. Newman going to the inside of the shitty coolers number two. Yes, that is the sponsor on the side of that race car. Ryan Newman, the winner, one week ago at Tri-County Speedway. Newman takes Myers way up the racetrack. Bold move right there. Newman now up to the eighth spot. Blake Barney now, as we're going to pan our cameras up a little bit further. Barney trying to get into the third spot. Barney does it. Blake Barney up to third, having a very strong run here in the rumble at Rougemont. He goes by Jonathan Cash. Cash now back another spot. Cash back to fourth. Fifth is Luke Baldwin, but Joey Coulter is there. Joey Coulter in the gray car applying some pressure as well. We got them all jam-packed here in the top six here. Look at Blake Barney. Barney going for the lead. He gets by Carson Loft and dipped to the inside of the 24 of Danny Bone as well, but was not able to do it. But Barney at lap 30 gets to second here in the rumble at Rougemont. Danny Bone wins Bell Helmet stage number one at the rumble at Rougemont for the Smart Modified Tour. Remember, now at the end of these 30 laps, the top three in the running order. Danny Bone, Blake Barney, as well as Carson Lofton will get a little extra cash as well as some points that go towards the championship equation at the end of the season. What a run by Blake Barney. And look at that shot from our camera.